Hello, I am Darth Bell. <laughs> Welcome back to Gravity Rush 2. Hanging out in Industria to do this mission. We did the side mission that unlocked some uh, collectible photos we have. Not going to do that. I already did it on the other main file. We got the trophy. In fact, all my trophies left in this game are like one or two for the Raven DLC. And then... Yeah, two for Raven DLC. I gotta get through without being spotted and get through by grabbing all the memories. And I had to, like, oh good, more battle nurse. And I had to level up Cat and earn a certain amount of stars, gems. Kitten, long time no see. Kiss, kiss, and all that. Uh, yeah, kiss, kiss, and all that. But more importantly, why did you tell me you were a gravity shifter? Oh, well, yeah, I do that. I've got just the part for someone of your talents. What is it? This better not be another trick. You remember Battle Nurse? Well, they want you to be in the sequel. More stunt work? No, thank you. Stunt work? Don't be silly. We're talking about you being the star. The star? For real? For real, baby. Would I let you down? I need an answer right away. The clock is ticking. I'll do it. If I get to be the star, of course. Sure, sure. Let's head over to the movie shoot. Okay, just let me get changed. No, you can't mean that. They're fighting already? What's going on? Oh my my, what's all this about? Even though we've got a gravity shifter for the part, the director said no shifting. But come on, what a wasted opportunity. What good is she if she, we can't use her shifting power? Wait, was I just insulted? Really? But she's only good for taking falls. Hold on. Let's all just calm down now. Turn those frowns upside down and start rolling those cameras. <laughs> Fine, whatever you want. Okay. We're rolling, everyone to your places. No, yeah. Okay, kitten, I'm counting on you to make this work. Ugh, this is gonna be a long shoot. <laughs> okay, first up, the heroine is dodging explosions as she makes her way into the enemy base. Avoid the explosions and take down any enemies you see along on the way to the goal. Got it? Got it. Come on, a little gravity action would per be perfect in this scene. It'll make everything ten times more exciting. People will love it. Have it your way. So is that a yes or a no to gravity shifting? He says no. Okay, concentrate. Uh, kind of hard to concentrate with the power struggle stuff. Battle Nurse 2, Scene 1. Avoid the explosions and take out the enemies in style. In style on your way to destination. Completely kick the dude behind him, the back one. Ow, asshole. Okay, that scene was a little drab, but hey, it's what the director wanted. Great. Say, what kind of things can you do with gravity anyway? 
Well, I can fly through the sky for one. Oh, and I can move stuff like it weighs nothing. Oh, sweet. That's all? No teleportation or stretchy really tall? I'm not a magician. Oh, well. Next scene. Maybe I should have stretched the truth along being about being able to stretch my son. Next up, the heroine has to avoid the toxic gas while moving through the city. There will be toxic gas spraying everywhere, so be careful. The stuff's real. Real? The director wants genuine emotion. Don't worry, it's not fatal. Come on, how about it? Can she use her gravity powers now? Fine. Roll cameras. They're really through rough on their stars. Avoid the toxic gas on your way to destination. Go too far, of course, and you need to reshoot scene. Action. Do 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 I really like to shoot some long scenes in this movie. Yeah. Come on, cat. Jumping, it's really the climb, grabbing on the ledges that's really rough. Shut up, game, I know. There's some quality life enhancements this game can have. That was a take, even if it was a little boring. Just to check, I am the star of this movie this time around, right? Did the director say why he wanted me? Well, you could take a lot of punishment, but he also said he sees potential in you. Potential? What? Oh, come on, you know I can't explain that. Fine, fine, let's move on with the shoot. Oh, come on, what did he say? It's going to drive me nuts. In the next scene, the heroine has to jump from boat to boat. When she crosses the boat to the tower, she has to land on it with a roll. Okay, I got it. Hey, don't you want to use your gravity shifting powers? It'd be so much easier and it seems right for the scene. You should tell the director it'd be better. But if I could control gravity, the final jump wouldn't be very dramatic. The people watching would have just expected me to survive the fall. Great, now you're teaming up on me. Fine, fine, I can see when I'm outnumbered. Let's move on to the next scene. Was I on the same page as the, dir the director in that? I think that's the first time I've ever agreed on something. Jump across the airboats to reach your destination and finish with the roll. Yeah. Yeah. Never mind. Well, doesn't 
It very loosely reminds me of the game Stuntman. I should even jump on that one. I got screwed over because the controls fucked me. It happens a lot in this game where she just doesn't jump. She's supposed to get down from here, though. Cut, cut. Oh, come on. That's a, such a little ass landing zone. Oh, I hate how this game always has to pop up the shore like that. Really, it's caused a problem with that. There's really no walking for cat. It's running nothing. The controls are so fucking finicky. She really needs to be able to walk. Because you just touch the control stick, she fucking launches 100 feet. Things that a third game could address. And with the power of a PlayStation 5, you can actually probably do more. No, Sony would rather focus on their super narrative games than their fun games. Though, they also announced a new Ratchet and Clank. They're taking steps. They can at least port these games to PC. If they're willing to do that to give the games, you know, more growth. Every fucking time. This is not even that goddamn fucking hard. It's just the shitty controls. Get and jump. I wish I could fucking turn that off. 
That's the most annoying thing about repeating this shit. Very fucking go, God. Getting screwed over by the game's physics and controls. Too early. Oh. Oh my God. These are such. These are nothing to the main game, but they're just so fucking infuriating. I gotta fucking turn that look sensitivity up. sensitivity is on that, but don't we tell that this game's a slow. This is not even the most complicated ass mission. I keep getting fucked over. Game's flaws are starting to shine here. It's the most simplistic side mission in this entire game. to that fucking tower what once there god damn Jesus Christ. Uh, Alright, that'll do. Thanks. Oh, Neither yeah. you nor the director seem to understand true entertainment. The people don't care about stories and motivations. Sure. They want to see edge of your seat action. Uh oh, I think the assistant director is off the hook. Ouch. Fine, whatever you say. Next scene. Wasn't even the end of it. On to the next scene. We're in the middle of the enemy base where the heroine is taking on their army. So you hired a lot of extras to play bad guys, huh? This scene needs to be action-packed. Make it thrilling. Yeah, I know. No gravity powers. Such a shame. It would be a great fit for such a climatic scene. Huh? Probably not the best time to bring it up, but something smells funny. Smell? What smell? Oh, uh, about the toxic gas that's supposed to just be harmless smoke. The guys who made it for us were a little on the cheap and fishy end. Hold on, what? Now I can use gravity powers. Nebby, everyone hide. I'll take them out. What are you talking about? This is our big chance. Keep it rolling. That's too dangerous. Your crew needs to get to safety. They'll be fine. We'll shoot from a safe distance. 
So what if the story doesn't make any sense? Just stay out of this. We can't afford to lose such great footage. Go ahead and use your gravity powers. Let's make this scene people a scene people will remember. Fine, but promise me you'll get everyone the safety of this dangerous. Ugh, fuckers are annoying. Ugh. God, this game can use a lot of camera. It's weird how the, the targeting in this game is worse than the first one. Never had that many problems with the first game. I'm not gonna use the PlayStation stupid fucking motion controls. It's annoying that they forced that shit in the first place in some games. And now they got some other dumb shit for the PlayStation 5. That probably only like the first few launch games will actually have while everything else is like, yeah, it's dumb. Not gonna waste it. Especially when, you know, they're making multi-platform games so I can make it more multiple systems. Do I have power, other powers than just to kick, like in Gravity Rush 1? Boats are under attack! Oh no, the equipment on those boats cost a fortune! Something happens if we blah blah blah. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Another one? Help! We can't, we gotta run! Calm down! Wow, he actually spoke. The more you panic, the more you'll draw their attention. Director, sir? He has a voice? Keep the cameras rolling. You can't use it for the movie, but the footage will be invaluable. We're counting on you to make it look good, Gravity Queen. Right, leave it to me. Did I kill him? No, I don't think there's someone that was bad. Oh, it's on its fist. Gotcha. Ow. Camera, please. Yeah, I counted. Oh, I just broke the armor. I thought we were goner. The director's back to his old self. Our equipment's ruined. The movie's finished, you say. But we can't stop now. The editors will figure something out. We can slap a story on after they're done. You're stepping down and leaving the rest of the movie to me? No problem, I can handle it. You're free to go. Thanks for the good work. Huh? Now that I'm the director, I'm going to cast someone with the with a little more star power. How was your shoot today, kitten? It was something. The director stepped down. He did? So what happens to the movie? I'm taking over, and I'll make sure it sees the light of day. Well, well, looks like we have ourselves a di directorial debut then. Mm, You're right, see? finally my time to shine. Changing directors mid-movie seems like a really bad idea. I'm going to need a star with more appeal to the masses. Know anyone that will fit the part? Killer. Of course, leave it to me, I'm your man. Have at it, I'm done with all of this. That took way longer than it should have. Oh, we got a monitor for the house. Hooray. Alright, and in this part here. 
I gotta delete something off my tiny ass fucking hard drive. In order to fit the next report in. Alright. Thanks for watching.